Right, Atlanta are seemingly demanding um, crazy prices, and whether it's just a negotiation tactic um, on their part, or whether it's a little bit of prudence from United to to also look at alternative options in case you don't manage to bring Hoyland in. The striker market does have options out there. There are some free transfers available, but finding the right player at the right fit, especially if you've maybe got your eye on bringing in someone next season if you don't get your first-choice target this year, is going to be very, very difficult. Whether or not United go all out for a Harry Kane or potentially go put our, all our eggs in the Evan Ferguson basket, which would be quite risky, although potentially quite lucrative. There has been an alternative touted um, that might actually be an elite option. That is Iranian striker, uh, Madi Taremi. Someone that we've covered a few times on the channel, um, but I think it's worth us looking in depth at what he might be able um, to bring. Now, since he's arrived in Europe at Rio Ave, he had 37 games, five assists, 21 goals. At Porto, he followed that up with 80 goals, 49 assists in 147 games. He has done nothing but deliver in the last couple of years. Uh, racked up 23 goals and 18 assists in 2021, uh, 26 goals and 17 assists in 21-22, and finished 22-23 with 31 goals and 14 assists. Now that is delivering. And he is a great finisher. He's a great striker at a ball. And he wouldn't be classed, uh, I don't think, certainly as a high-volume shot taker. But the quality of his shots are exceptional. He ranks extremely high uh, in terms of XG for shots on target percentage and in the 96th percentile for goals as well. This is a lad that's putting up the numbers. From a statistical point of view, this is a player that's doing real bits. But also on the eye, on the eye test, he is a proper Number nine is someone that's got the penalty box presence. He's got striker's instinct. He has got that desire to go on and score goals, get on the end of things. And that is what United need. That is what United are looking for. And that is what I think Eric Ten Hag is looking to bring to Manchester United. It's what we don't have. I mean, we don't have a striker. So any striker, whatever striking characteristics you want to sort of throw out there, we don't have because we don't have a striker. But a striker with this particular skill set, these particular instincts is what we don't have. He's got a desire to get on the end of goals, uh, to get on the end of crosses. Uh, he's got that knack of being in the right place at the right time. He's got that sort of box instinct where it's something's happening. Um, and and he's he's got more to his game than just being a bit of a fox in the box as well. He, he excels outside of that. He's in the 86th percentile for aerial Jules won. He's quite tall, but he's very powerful. And he's got a good leap on him and he generates a lot of power with his head. And he's an excellent link player. Uh, he retains the ball really well. High, high level. He comes dropping in deeper areas and helps sustain the attack and helps sustain possession by doing so. He uh, is quite progressive when he gets on the ball as well and quite risk-taking when he does it. He works best when he's got runners in front of him so he can scan the final third. He's got nice dynamic to him. And I see that sort of link-up play working really well with Rashford. In fact, the way he comes deep, gets on a turn and be able, is able to deliver a pass, it's not quite to the same level as Harry Kane, but the, it, it looks similar. Like the, he, You can see he's trying to do similar sorts of things. And where you see Son be so effective being the quicker player ahead of Harry Kane, you could see Taremi coming deep, getting on the turn and finding Marcus Rashford running across the wing into the sort of left channel. Uh, left half space and he works hard off the ball as well when you don't have possession he doesn't go to sleep he doesn't toss it off he doesn't start walking around um he's quite tenacious um and i think i think if you brought him in he would he would have a serious amount of intensity to his play as first choice but if you brought him in as a backup because the the fee talks about for him isn't a lot i think you might see him be able to conserve that energy and really unload, especially if he's coming on the late in games. He's a very, very good counter press and he's got a really good understanding of the positions that you are required to be able to sort of cut the opposition off. He brings a calmness. He uses, um, he uses just calmness. That's what I'm looking for, composure. Um, he doesn't panic. He brings the ball down in tight places with play players around him. He can dribble out of trouble. He can pass out of trouble. Um, and a bit like Harry Kane, he's a bit of a nine and a half, bit of a nine and a ten hybrid. Um, all the abilities of a nine. Excellent finisher. Poaching ability. Uh, plays on the last 
uh, defender, can be a focal point, but also has that subtleness of a 10 that can come and help sustain possession, help um, get a team moving forward and, and provide for other people as well. Um, if Harry Kane is out of our budget and you want something that is a bit more of a risk, Taremi's a hell of a shout. No two ways around it, Taremi is a hell of a shout. And there are other alternatives. They've got Kola Moane, you've got Ramos, you've got Vlahovic. But do United have the budget for those? You know, reliability on Marshall is less than zero at the moment. Uh, is it surprising that he's still injured in pre-season? You know, last month, Portuguese outlet, uh, Journal de Nauticus, uh outlined that United are following Taremi. Uh He's out of contract at Porto next year. An extension appears unlikely and Porto could be willing to significantly reduce the asking price down to approximately 20 million euros, 17 million pound. A player of this ability, I, I would do it. I would pull the trigger. I would get him in. I, I could even make a case for getting him in anyway if you manage to get your first choice in. Um, you know, we have signed Mason Mount. You know, we are at the time of recording looking to finalise the deal for Onana. That might be done by the time this video gets edited and posted. Um, United's budget for further additions is going to be based on outgoings. Hoyland remains the number one choice, I think, but to Raimi because of how cheap he is if you're able to sell some players getting him in as well as not an issue for me at least anyway I don't think I mean I'm not I'm not the one in charge of the purse strings at Carrington but I do believe that it's a gettable player at a gettable price that adds a dynamic United don't have and I think it'd be a nightmare to go all in on on Hoyland and then him get injured and you have nothing else in backup um I don't think signing two strikers, if you move Marshall on, especially, I don't think signing two strikers would be a crazy idea for United. I think it'd be quite a prudent thing to do. I think it'd be a sensible thing to do. And I think it'd be something that Manchester United should genuinely look to do. So that's my thoughts. You guys let me know in the comments. What do you think? Um, would you mind, Taremi? You think he's someone that could lead the line? Do you think, you know, okay, doing it for Porto is one thing. He did it at Rio Ave as well, but, you know, could he do it at Manchester United where the stakes are a little bit different? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.